pictorial representation of the cycle of welding. Uh, so we have our, our two parts. They are loaded into the fixture. The sonotrode and stack and actuator move down. They make contact with the part. And typically there's a trigger force that you program based upon the size of the part. Once the parts are squeezed together or, or loaded up with force and the trigger happens, we start to vibrate. And when we start to vibrate, this sacrificial bead, as we refer to it as the energy director, that begins to melt. The actuator continues to push with a pre-programmed weld force, and it pushes for some amount of time, some amount of distance, or some amount of energy and or power. That again is programmed. So you program in those parameters, and when, the, when that primary weld parameter is met, ultrasound turns off, and the welder switches to a hold time and a corresponding hold force, and this can be profiled as well. At that point, the plastic is, is still molten. We continue to press until the plastic cools, the, the weld and the joint cools, and then the sonotrode moves up and you remove the welded part. So this is a video of um, a, a lure fitting, a, a typical application that, that we weld. And I just wanted to point out a few things before I start the video. So you can see that there's a gap here between the two parts. So the upper part, as we refer to it as the driven part, and then the lower part, the part that's in the fixture, um, should remain motionless. The weld bead is approximately here in, in this area. So what you'll see is a full speed cycle. The sonotrode will come down, load onto the parts, vibrate for a very short amount of time, two or three tenths of a second. And then you'll see a wetting of the area here where the, where the weld bead or the energy director or the, the, the shear, um, whichever sort of design is within that part, you'll see that melt and you'll see it then bond and the sonotrode retract. So there's a full speed video and then there'll be a, a video at half speed as well. Oops, sorry about that. So again, the gap that you see between the parts gets smaller and the wetting of the um, part, kind of that, that the bond happens right across there. <laughs> 